Hi everyone and welcome to the Right to Life Classroom. My name is John Girardi. I'm the Executive Director at Right to Life of Central California. I'm an attorney and I'm here to discuss with you a new Supreme Court case, a case that the court has just announced they're going to take this upcoming judicial term called Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization. This Supreme Court case could wind up being the most significant abortion case that the court has taken in the last three decades. What I want to do in this series of videos is explain this case and the deep, lasting impact it can have on legalized abortion in the United States. Most people think that the chief abortion case that dictates American abortion law today is Roe v. Wade, and certainly Roe v. Wade was very important, but it's not the only really significant case. The Dobbs case may also call into question another very important abortion case. In fact, a case that was decided on the exact same day as Roe v. Wade, on January 22nd of 1973, a case called Doe versus Bolton. Roe v. Wade structured abortion regulation along the trimester system. Basically, they read into the Constitution a right to privacy. Within that, they read in a right to make certain kinds of medical decisions. Within that, they read in a right to have abortions. And within that, they read a trimester system. If you're wondering how all of that could be hidden within the Constitution, you're not alone. Nevertheless, in creating this trimester system, the Supreme Court said that state legislatures and the U.S. Congress can ban abortions in the third trimester, but only in pregnancies where the mother's health is not threatened. Well, what constitutes a threat to the mother's health? Doe v. Bolton, decided the same day as Roe v. Wade, answered that question. The court in Doe v. Bolton defined health so broadly that essentially every single pregnancy implicates a mother's health. First of all, health can refer to psychological health, mental health, and also familial health. For example, a woman who claims that her family dynamic would be upset if she decided to have this baby. Essentially, every unwanted pregnancy, by definition, adversely implicates a mother's health to such an extent as to justify a late-term abortion. And who gets to decide when the mother's health is implicated? Why? The abortion doctor. The person who is financially interested in having the abortion take place. As a result, we can see that the Doe versus Bolton health exception is so broad that it really swallows the rule. This case, in conjunction with our other Supreme Court precedents on abortion, effectively mean that it is impossible for any state in the union or for the U.S. Congress to ban abortion as such for any point in pregnancy or for any duration of the pregnancy. The United States is one of only seven countries in the world that allows elective legalized abortion to take place after the 20 week mark of pregnancy. Some of these other countries include such noted abusers of human rights as communist China, Vietnam, and North Korea. Doe versus Bolton is the reason why we are in such ignominious company. For Rights Life of Central California, I'm John Girardi.